welcome back everybody uh, Briggs and I Briggs behind the camera uh, we're out today again uh, east of Rapid City this time and uh, we are out scouting for some rock samples that I'm going to use in one of my uh, labs in a class this coming week so I spent some time yesterday going through our rock cabinets and I wasn't able to find some of the things that I wanted to use in class and I knew where some of this stuff was out here just east of Rapid City and so uh, we're gonna spend some time out here running around trying to track down a couple of different uh, rock types uh, in the pretty young sediments these are uh, Pliocene in age which Pliocene the oldest they are is gonna be five million years and then they go up to about oh about two million years so it's about only about a three million year period of deposition during the Pliocene and they represent uh, the deposits of the erosional debris coming off of the Black Hills in the river systems that were flowing across this area uh, you know in, in the last several million years and depositing the uh, erosional sediments out here uh, on these kind of flat now that are terraces and so we're going out and hunting some of that material and and uh, hopefully we'll find what we're looking for okay this is uh, Pliocene in age which is probably about five million years and if you can see in here it's really coarse cobbles um, and gravels this is a, a conglomerate from one of the ancient rivers that used to drain off of the Black Hills and we got quartz cobbles in here we have uh, other uh, quartzites and um, silica type rocks this is just here's some chert so we're probably, here's a piece of, uh, of Precambrian um, phyllite or schist. And I think that's the same. Here's another piece of chert. So this is a type of conglomerate that we call a polymict. Uh, it has various uh, compositions of, of coarse gravels in it. Here's a finer sandy layer right in here, much smaller grain. Uh, looks like coarse material below it, coarse up above with finer grain um, in the center. So let's go up and look at these up here, see if they're any different. Beer can, of course. Okay, I think we'll, you see all the lichens on here, green, yellow, lichens. This will work good. I think we'll take this one. Okay. This is a little coarser than I thought was we were going to find here.
Okay, so we are, I'll bet we're between 50 and 100 feet lower uh, than that where we got that uh, conglomerate. And we're in this sandstone in here. Uh, there's a lot of this surface here. Take a, see if you can get this surface. You can see the surface has all these kind of ropey textures in them. So a lot of times uh, these are what's referred to as bioturbation. So this, if you know, this is we are in uh, uh, marine units, so probably shallow sea uh, near coastline, and sea level would be going up and down, and so you'd have a beach face like this, and then water would come in, advance toward the shore, and the water would get deeper, and then you get settlement of fine uh, silts and clays, and you get shales. So you get this series of shales and sands and shales and sands that represent the sea level going, you know, raising, which is a function of the sea level uh, regressing toward the sea and then transgressing toward the land. Those are called transgression regression cycles. This would be a beach face where clams and whatever, all the little critters live. And when the tide goes out, you see the clams, you know, the worms, burrowing worms, all those critters will come up, uh, get food and feed, and then they go back down and they have pathways. And so this is preserved in here, these pathways. Uh, again, that's called bioturbation. And then you get the nice, uh, really nice thin laminae uh, sand. So more than likely this is real, extremely fine grain. So we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a it's gray. It's a gray sand. Pretty fine grain. It looks like it is. I'm not seeing anything but quartz. So it looks like it's made up of quartz. So in this whole piece, I'm only seeing one or two or three other grains that are not quartz. So. Uh, this would be a, a quartz aronite, a very fine grain, so uh, this is uh, more than likely a, a beach deposit. It's still not what I'm hunting for. I think we have to rise back up out of this valley uh, to get up to some an elevation that's correlating to where that conglomeratic unit was back down the road about five or eight miles. So we'll get back in the truck and we'll keep heading off to the east here a little bit uh, and try to find this, uh, this coarse sand uh, that's a close to a composition that we call an arcos, and that's what I'm looking for. So an arcos is just a is a sandstone with more than 25% feldspar grains in the composition. So, uh, and I've seen it up here before. It's been many, many years, a couple of decades. Uh, so I'm trying to find it this morning, and that's what I want for class. So that's what we're hunting for is uh, samples for my class. So let's head on down the road again.
All right, this sandstone right here is pretty different than anything we've seen so far. You can see that the majority of the grains are quartz and they're they're white to kind of a yellowy uh, opaque kind of gray. And then there's a lot of other fragments in there, a lot of dark. Uh, there's one over there on the left side of the screen right now that's a, a dark mineral. Uh, there's some reddish things. There's some green things in here. And, and so this is uh, much, much greater than 5% what we call lithic fragments or things that are non-quartz. That would make this sample what we would call a lithic aronite. So lithic means other rock fragments, and uh, that's what this is. It is, uh, the grains are, well, relatively rounded. There's some oblong grains in here, but there's a lot of sharp uh, boundaries on them. It's not a pure, rounded, uh, granular type of a mix, which usually uh, denotes something that's mature or has had a lot of transport time. And in fact, this rock right here is a first cycle rock. All of these uh, grains and minerals and all the constituents in here. So these have all been derived from weathering of the rock in the Black Hills and then transported out in the stream system that existed back in the Pliocene. So again, we're talking a maximum of 5 million years down to probably about 2 million years. So about a 3 million year period is when these materials were moved out of the hills. Uh, they have since been lithified, which means they are cemented, and it is a, a rock. And you can see right in the center there is kind of a larger grain. So there's some larger grains in here. There's some rounded ones, but for the most part, they're angular. Uh, the quartz is definitely what we would call first cycle quartz. This is the first time it's been on a uh, erosion and transport journey. And as this rock then uh, gets weathered again and the material is... Uh, introduced into the weathering cycle and is transported further down gradient, then it will uh, become rounder. Uh, the non-quartz particles will weather and they will uh, be gone. So this is, uh, this is really beautiful stuff here. I like this a lot. This is, uh, this is pretty unique to see something like this. is much, much finer grain. This is more of a, a sandstone by texture. It's got some larger pieces in here, uh, but it's primarily sand-sized grain, so it makes it a sandstone. So depending on the composition of the particles will tell us what kind of sandstone. So it's, uh, it's got a lot of different things in here. Probably the primary grain is quartz. And they are, it's only sand sized quartz, but there's a lot of what are called lithic particles in it. And lithics are uh, other lithologies. So there's, there's metamorphic, little, a few pieces of metamorphic stuff. There's, there's the, uh, the kind of the direct uh, erosional products from granite is in here and so anything that has over uh, 10 or 15 percent composition that's not quartz then we call that a lithic aronite so this is a lithic aronite and this is a great example this is a a first cycle sediment these sediments right here all these particles in this rock originally came from just west of here anywhere from uh, probably 10 to 20 miles to the west weathering out of the Black Hills of the uplift, the granites, the, uh, all the Cambrian rock, moved its way east through the river system, and the grains are, are uh, angular, they're not rounded, uh, and they're dirty, and the dirty are the lithic fragments. So the lithics are gonna weather quite rapidly, and they'll be gone uh, at, in, in uh, further downstream and through other depositional sequences. So this is the first time this material was eroded and deposited, and this is the result. So this is a lithic aronite, and this is going to be great for class.
All right, well, that was a pretty successful trip. I think we found what we were looking for, and I got samples for class. It was a great day, uh, great weather. It's getting kind of cloudy. It started out pretty sunny. Uh, the clouds are moving in. Temperature is probably uh, 50, low 50s, and it's continually going to drop from here on out for the rest of the day. So uh, we're going to call this one a, a wrap. Uh, let me know if you like this content. Uh, share this with uh, friends of yours that you think might be interested in this kind of thing. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya.